Now if it ever gets stuck on this, or your temps are good, I always have to do this for some reason. And then I'll start working. I think it's only when I first started up, like the first print. I made a little bit of a mess there, but let's see how it does. I'm doing a huge perimeter around the entire plate. It looks like it's not doing too good out here on the edge. Might have to do a bed level on that outer edge. Everything else seems to be okay. So if I want to drop this down a little bit, go to baby step and Z minus. Yeah, it's gonna have a hard time on the outskirts right here. And I'm smashing the bed over here. So I wanna hit back, I wanna hit stop and confirm. And we'll try to do a bed level and see if we can't fix that outside corner. So I wanna go to tools, move, uh, we'll do 10 meters. Then Z up. 10 millimeters, sorry. And we'll get that up about 30 millimeters. So um, let's move the uh, tray towards us and clean this mess up. Okay, we've got that as good as we're going to get for now. So now I want to go to tools, try to do the auto level here and see how that works. Now some people are having issues with that not working either and I found that home the machine first and then try it and sometimes it works. And I believe I'm going to have to adjust the firmware anyways a little bit because I think it hits this all the way at the end. It kind of rides that belt. Like I was saying, move that over here. It's the start point and the end point. Oh, about right here, so. Cause it just goes over a little too far. And you heard that whack there. In the meantime, this is what we're making. They're gonna be uh, roll holders for vinyl tubes and you can find these right on Thingiverse okay the auto level is complete I just want to go ahead and hit home hit all and wait for that to home out alright we restarted the print and we're kinda of dragging so again yeah, we'll do options baby step let's raise the C up Come on. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. I got rid of that dragon noise. A little bit. And some issues I was having too. I don't know if you guys ever had an issue or not, but uh, sometimes the Z offset's not quite working right. And it won't actually raise the head. Which might be getting some of that now. And when it goes to do another layer, it'll just keep staying on the same height and the Z will never increase. So we might be getting some of that now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this print again. I'm just going to take a sec. Go ahead and stop it again. And then restart the print and then see if the head is quite a bit higher or not. Because I might be getting some of that issue right now. Which I believe I am. So I want to go tools. Uh, I want to go to move. And I want to move the Z up. Yeah, see? Z is not increasing. So this is going to cause for a restart on the machine. Alright, let's see if we are able to increase. There we go. Now our Z is working. So yeah, I don't know if that is a firmware issue or it's just a issue processing data where it just kind of freaks out a little bit on the Z height. Um, I just get it every once in a while when I try to do some baby stepping stuff. It'll uh, kind of freak out and the Z will no longer increase. So I'm sure to pull some of this off. Let me try to clean this bed again. I'll be right back and we'll restart a print and try to re-baby step this. And it is a pain on one of these UV flex sheets if you drag your nozzle across to get the plastic off your bed. Because you can catch a corner and try to peel and it just breaks because there's not enough on there to actually make one piece of plastic. It's just little tiny bits and pieces just scraping over the low, spo low points in those textures. So you gotta kind of get you one of these little brass brushes and just try to scrape off what you can and then you can print on top of it and when you pull off your next print sometimes it'll pull off the remainder that you can't get. Alright that's good enough for me so let's go ahead and try to redo this print again. I'll go to the options and I'm going to check baby step right away and it does save the setting. So I was at negative six and now we're at negative four and it, we didn't see that increase. So when it starts moving again to do this test strip line, we'll see that it's gonna be kinda high off the bed and we'll have to adjust it again. All right, a little late to the show. Um, but yeah, it did come up high. But we did get a bead all the way around it this time. And that's what I ended up dropping to, negative six, 16 there. It looks like we're laying down a good bead now. I'll kind of keep an eye on it and see. Uh, I think there's still a little bit of a high point and a low point on this bed. And hopefully we got it close enough to where we need a decent bead on each. corners finally stayed if it would focus come on you bastard so I'm about the texture on this bed so the front of the bed looks good and we'll see how the back comes out
Now it is coming out a little thick and overlapped, but uh, I kind of like to run my PLA that way. Because uh, I'd rather have more strength than uh, appearance for, especially stuff like this that you're actually going to be using. Some kind of parts or wall hangers, things to hold things. I like things to be nice and solid and strong. Um, so I do get a little bit of this uh, overlapping between the uh, lines where it kind of bubbles up and it's a little warm. Now this video here is going to be more for the operation and getting going uh, with the uh, Marlin firmware on one of these trunks. But um, if you're having a hard time with just printing you know, or print settings, I should say, um, I know there's a bunch of videos online already about that. So I probably won't go over too much about that. But if you're having a difficulty, I mean, and you can't get one of these boats to print, just print one of those uh, calibration cubes. And just go until you can actually get a shape. And then um, from there, just squeeze them. Try to break them in your hand. If they fall apart, break into layers. Your layer adhesion is bad. So I would try pushing a little more filament, maybe a little more heat, get them layers together. And then go from there and try to print you out one of these. And you don't have to print the whole boat. I know it takes about an hour, maybe a little bit more depending on your settings. But you can print just part of a boat. Just the top piece here, and I get you a lot of information just on this. Or even more basic from there, print just a square with a little barrel on top. And then just increase the difficulty of the prints as you start working, figuring things out. Uh, you know, back to, I mean, this is one of my first prints here, and I still had issues. This was back on, you know, Tronxy's stock firmware. You know, a couple things that uh, I never got worked out yet, and a lot of it was this overhangs and little fingers and stuff trying to print. And that was a uh, pretty difficult time, but, um, I mean, it's not bad for one of the early on prints. It just takes a little bit of messing around. And there, the back looks pretty good the front whoa focus the front I, th I like this so I think we're all set all the way across the bed everything's adhering so yeah if you have issues with getting it to go on the bed I'll try to redo your auto level because after a while you know things will warp or whatever with heat you know and on these it's just these little springs under here so Things can move after time, and this hasn't ran for you know a good few months at least. But that's all I got for you in this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.